Uh, I'm Steve with Pro Door. Uh, we're getting ready to install a door here, so let's get started. Okay, here we want to talk about the prepping of the door when we get ready to, to install the framing and stuff. So we have uh, don't have concrete on the, this site, so we had to put some door stops uh, down here along for the garage door panels to sit on. And then obviously our goal posts are going all the way up to where the uh, horizontals will hang on the back of that. And then we have a spring pad here in the center for where the center bearing will set and then the goal post on the other side with another door stop down the other side. Okay, here's what I like to do. I like to set up uh, all my components on a table and get set ready for the install. We have our bottom brackets right here uh, that, that'll go on each side which the cables will attach to. And then I lay my hinges out in order two, three, four, five, and six and our ones for the center and our center brackets, our end bearings, and our top brackets. So I like to have everything laid out on a table and prepped and ready for install. That way I'm not searching through a box and I have everything orderly uh, for the install, so. Now we're gonna go on to setting the, the hinges and bottom brackets onto the uh, door here. I've taken, this is a more of a commercial bracket. Uh, we've taken and put the pin through and fastened the uh, cable so you know which can extend up to the bottom of the door. Installing the bottom step plate for pushing the door down, uh, you know, when you're closing the door in a closed position. doors, uh, the larger doors over eight foot, the 10 foot doors, we have a long stem roller that would go for the bottom uh, bracket and a short stem for all the intermediates. And then also another long stem that will go for the top bracket at the top of the door. supporting blocks. Now we're going to go to set the other horizontal. Okay. Dustin, do you want to see how far your door overlaps the other end? You want to be right now I'm about flush. Okay. I'm about, I'm hanging over about a quarter of an inch. So okay. Right there I'm dead flush to the back of the Okay. Plate. Good to go. So they don't get caught in the other door panels or get matched or tanked. So what we do here is we'll put number two hinges on, start on the end. Now being that we've already installed both uh, verticals, you only put one hinge on and one roller on one end and then put the other one on. And I want to point out that you do not put the roller in the pivot, you put it in the offset position.
At this point in your door insulation, you will be utilizing and hanging the back hangs. This will be a two person process, so make sure you have somebody with you to keep yourself and your team safe. The back hangs will be mounted on the door side at the beginning at the end bearings. You will be mounting them to your goal post, and then you'll be ensuring that the measurement at the front and the back of the back hangs are the same measurement to ensure proper operation. One thing that we wanted to discuss was when we had put these first two in on the verticals, you want to put the lags and adjust in it to, uh, along the door as you go and install the panels as you go up through. Okay, on this uh, large of a door, uh, we have several struts, but I generally place mine a lot after except for the top panel. On, on the top panel, I like to set that and you just want to set it near the top of the uh, door if you can, space it out even less. So. Here, we, uh, installing the one top bracket, I always use the bottom hinge hole to line up dead center with the, the top of the top bracket. And then on the bottom, I install two screws on.
One thing we want to do before we go to the springs and set the springs and stuff, we want to put the, the lock kit in. So we want to go in here and we're going to take this and knock out the, there's a knockout already in the perforated end of the vertical track. So you just want to stay about three quarters of an inch away from the edge. That way when the, the retracts slide it up to the top of the, of the notch here to where it's in the lock position. And then we want to put our last safety label on at eye height. Here we're going to install uh, this. Being that this is a smaller pan door, uh, not uninsulated, we have smaller springs, we can grab this from both ends and install. Generally, if it was a heavier door, insulated door, we would use, grab it from the middle and install from the middle because the springs would be larger. Here we go, we're gonna get ready to set up the spring system. So we have a center bracket uh, for this door application. The notch obviously will go into the down position uh, towards the bottom of the door so the door can clear it when it rolls up past. Slide that on. Okay, then next we will go to the spring for the left side of the door. When it's painted red, that will go on the left side of the door. And then the red drum, red paint on the inside. And slide them in. You can, if you wish, you can kind of just seat the set screws so they don't slide all over and smash your fingers. That's great. And then on the other end, the black spring, black painted, will go on the right side of the door. And then last but not least, the black painted drum go on the right side.
And here we want to just lace the cable up through between the door and the jam brackets. After the screw hits the bottom of the tube, I like to take about one full turn and tighten it down into the drum so that it seats properly into the, the tube. On a two-door spring system, I like to just put a little bit of tension on the left side. I always put left drum on first. I put just a little bit of tension on it to hold to where the cable stays tight and then just give it a little bit of a snug and then pull down where your cable is nice and tight and then go put your back drum on. You'll notice that Steve is placing a paint line on the spring. This will allow him to be able to count how many winds that he is currently at when he is putting tension on the spring. On this particular door we have ten and a half winds per spring. We're going to go up and do the back hangs and get this set. So what we want to do is I partially roll the door up about halfway and that lets me know kind of where to set the uh, actual back hang. Okay, so we're going to uh, start drilling the prehang weight now that we have the back hang uh, set. So we're going to go ahead and drill the hole for the bolt to go through.
Okay, we want to stick the bolt through and into the track so the door will not go past. I have to ring it. 